Hi, I'm Andy and I'm going to use my tarot cards to talk to you about a program called Tarot Monthly Horoscope for the month of May 2019 and this is for you coming from Taurus. So first let me give you my email address which is andyhoro9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O 9, the number 9 at gmail.com. Now the first card that I pull will be to do with your first 15 days of May. And I'm going to tackle your area of the job first. You coming from Taurus. Oh, it's a beautiful card. And this card says that you're going to have many opportunities in your job area. You can expect pay rise or a better status or recognition or just pure support from your superiors and your colleagues. So the best, do the best that you can in the first 15 days and it will produce plenty of opportunities for you. Now I'm going to talk to you about business if you happen to be in business. <clears throat> well, it's a card that says many business opportunities are possible, but you will not either able to conclude them. That means you will not be able to sign on the dotted line yet in the first 15 days of May. Or you may have difficulty in getting through to find support of doing any kind of um, uh, new businesses. So it, I would look at this card and advise you to carry on doing the businesses you are doing. Go ahead and look for new businesses, but don't try to implement them in the first 15 days of April. You will not have the strength or the support to do that. Now about romance. Let's see what the card says for you coming from Taurus. And it's a very good card. It says that you will find easily a new romance. And this new romance will be very helpful for you and produce a lot of happiness. So your first 15 days of May are ready to give you that new contact you've been looking for or the response from somebody you know. So it's a good card. Now I'm going to use this same card to talk to you about ongoing romance. And the card says good news. There will be a lot of compatibility with the person you are in love with in the form of a romance right now. And so the first 15 days of May produce plenty of charm so bonding is what you want go out to lovely places show the affection and the support to your romance partner and the response will be leading you on to better things in your love affair now I'm going to talk to you about your marriage for the month of May and let's see what your marriage says well it's a card that says leadership conquer control and dominate well, you don't want to do that because it's you listening to me. So in your marriage, don't try to conquer, don't try to dominate, don't try to take the lead and you'll be just fine. Be supportive, be appreciative, be flexible, be negotiable. And you'll see that the first 15 days in your marriage produces harmony and produces plenty of support for you. So it's as simple as that. Now, the next card that I pull will be for the last 16 days of May. And let's see what the card talks to you about your job area. You coming from Taurus. Oh, this is not a very good card. And it says in the last 16 days, there are going to be many complications and a lot of stress and anxiety because there is too much to do, too little time to do. So the stress factor is going to produce a danger of your insecurity in the job in the, first, in the second 15 days or 16 days. So you'll have to work harder if you value the job and trying to look for a new job in the last 16 days is not going to produce very good results. So just work hard as you can in the last 16 days, show your bosses your commitment and things will be just getting better and better. Now regarding business, <clears throat> let's see. Well, it's, it's a card that says you are in demand. So there are plenty of businesses around and some of unexpected opportunities are coming for you. But it says that the financial planets, I like Kabbalistic cards because I see signs of planets and zodiac signs that helps me to read the cards. And so the card says that financial situations are not steady enough to look or venture into new businesses. So just go slow because your business area where finance is concerned is not just strong enough. If you do get a new contract, you will have difficulty in implementing it. So why look for trouble? Carry on doing the business you are and go out and venture slowly, negotiate, 
don't commit yet. Now we'll talk about your romance. It's a difficult card. It says if you find a new romance in the first in the last fifteen days, if you find a new romance in the last fifteen days of May, it will be a very troublesome, argumentative, difficult one. And there are also financial issues on this card. So don't dive into a new opportunity in the last 15 days where new romance is concerned. Study it carefully, look behind the scenes and study this person. It comes with many complications. And now I'll pull a card for your ongoing romance to see what's in store for your ongoing romance that's already carrying on. And it's trouble again. It says that again arguments, this card says, and again differences and again a lack of loyalty. So there are some issues in the romance that you already have. So you've got to look behind the scenes. There is no sign of breakup. There's sign of a lot of stress and disturbances. So it's only 16 days, the last 16 days of May. So take it easy and tell yourself to be flexible and appreciative and supportive to find out where the problem is. And that would be better. Now about your marriage for the last 15 days of May. Let's see. Well, it's a card that says there is conflict. So the conflict of this card divides the card into three areas. One is the temperament between you and your marriage partner is not steady. One of you is losing temper and getting very aggressive. Make sure it's not you. Second, financial areas are a disturbance. So wherever the disturbance is, negotiate your position because marriage is a long-term affair. These are only temporary problems. And the third area is responsibility. Either you or your marriage partner is showing irresponsibility without a care. So perhaps one of you is very disturbed about the present situation of the marriage for certain reasons. So find out regarding responsibility and tend to it and you'll be able to improve. It's only the 16 days, it's not 16 years. Now for you coming from Taurus, I'm going to talk to you about lucky ages. There are some of you who are going to be of these ages and if you happen to be these ages, you're going to be lucky in one, two, three, any area in your life. And well, from this card, I'm favoring the ages of 15, 24, 33, 42, 51, 60, 69 or 78. If you happen to be these ages which I've just mentioned, you're going to be very lucky in one area or another or perhaps two or three areas. So go out and get what you want. You have the, somehow the aura of magnetism about you. So go out and get what you want. If you're not of these ages, you'll need to consult me for a 90 minute session. And during this 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about your next seven, eight or nine years based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your farms. We'll talk about that later. Now about your lucky dates, D-A-T-E-S. It's a card of many good things. So I will say that the dates, the 6th, the 15th and the 24th are going to be exceptionally good dates. There are signs of Jupiter and Mercury and Uranus on this card. So I like the dates 6th, 15th and 24th. For any area of your life, bookmark these dates because whatever you say and do on the 6th, 15th and 24th is going to benefit you. So communicate and ask favours. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky colours for you coming from Taurus. Oh, what a magnificent card. What a beautiful card. And I'll just have to go for that lovely color of turquoise. Turquoise is mentioned as a magic color in the universe. So you have the magic color in the month of May to help you. So wear a lot of turquoise undergarments, top garments, hug a turquoise um, pillow, carry a turquoise handkerchief. And you will see that you get a lot of help from the universe in becoming lucky in the month of May. And now about a lucky direction. So why direction? Because nine planets are chosen to circle Earth, so that circle, so that Earth doesn't escape. So Earth is mentioned many times as an unfortunate planet. And so, for you coming from Taurus, what direction can I use so that you can be inspired and made happy? And from this card, I would choose Southwest. So Southwest is going to produce some exciting direction for you. So face southwest as much as you can in the month of May 
and you will find that unexpected opportunities come for you and unexpected solutions will come for you so you will be un you will be very inspired when you face southwest well that's what i have to tell you now i have a 90 minute session and in that 90 minutes based on your date of birth and time of birth and looking at your palms i'll be able to tackle all areas of your life your job your business your finances your health your romance your marriage areas and i will go ahead and speak to you about eight nine years in advance and I'll give you your personal lottery numbers, your personal lottery numbers based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms and your lucky colors and your lucky gemstones and your lucky directions and your lucky days, a lot of information so that you can get your next seven, eight or nine years perfectly right. So send me that email, Andy Horo 9 A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O 9, the number 9 at gmail.com and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Until then, Thank you and have a good month of May. Goodbye.